Hey guys, if you're into houseplants like I am, then you're probably no stranger to these crazy looking plants. They're all over social media, online, and probably at your local nurseries. Begonias are absolutely stunning, and particularly Rex begonias are some of the most interesting looking houseplants out there. Why, you may ask? Well, I'm going to be sharing all of that in today's video, including crucial care tips and the easiest way to propagate your Rex begonias. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm Tyler, and if you like what you're seeing or you find this video to be helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, or better yet, you can subscribe to my channel. So the term Rex begonia, quite literally, if you look it up in the dictionary, is any of various rhizomatous begonias derived from an East Indian species, begonia rex, and having variegated, heavily veined, rough textured leaves, thick and hairy stems, that's right, hairy stems, and usually insignificant flowers. Thanks, Merriam-Webster. As you can see, the begonia I have in my home, this one here definitely fits the bill and has those characteristics. These beautiful leaves have hints of purple and a dark green. You can see that there are huge veins running through them and they also have a rough texture and they boast these iridescent sort of white greeny um, speckles on, on the leaves and they're just absolutely fascinating. The hairy stems are basically undeniable um, and quite cool. Uh, and another unique characteristic to these houseplants. Now, mine does also have some flowers, but they are hidden among the hairy stems, and I'll be sure to get some cool shots of the flowers for you guys as well. Some would describe the Rex begonia as a tricky houseplant to care for, but I'm going to be sharing with you guys a few key uh, crucial care tips that will really make all the difference and make this the perfect houseplant companion. First off, the secret to keeping these tropical plants in your home is humidity. If you live in the Northeast like I do, and you currently don't have your begonia beside, literally beside your humidifier, then it's probably not getting enough humidity. Uh, one way you can definitely tell is if there is browning on the edge of the leaves, um, then that's an indicator that it just isn't getting enough humidity. Um, I would really advise you guys to keep this uh, begonia, the Rex begonias, uh, really close to your humidifier. I actually just picked up a new humidifier that is working absolutely fantastically, and uh, if you're interested in that, I'm going to throw in the details into the description, and you can check it out there. When it comes to light, watering, and the rest, generally speaking, Rex begonias need bright indirect light, direct sunlight just won't do. So if you live in the Northeast like I do, it's probably a good idea to keep them um, somewhere close to a south facing window. So for example, um, I have a couple of feet before the window um, from the ground to the window and I actually keep it right up against the wall so it gets a lot of bright indirect light from this south facing window but no direct light. That being said, Winter time here in the Boston area can be pretty gray and overcast. And on those days, I wouldn't hesitate to put this plant in the windowsill so it is getting a little bit more light. It's a good idea to let the topsoil dry out before watering. I only like the top inch or so to dry out because you are going to want to keep a close eye on these. You don't want them to dry out completely. Um, so, you know, just that top little bit to dry out and then that's a good time to water them. And by letting the surface of the soil dry out, you are 
um, doing your best to avoid any sort of weird fungal uh, issues and that kind of thing too. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with removing any sort of dead or dried up leaves uh, or stems and even uh, deadheading the flowers once they've gone too is probably a good idea. Those are the basic care tips in a nutshell and I also wanted to share with you guys in this video how easy and simple it can be to propagate your Rex begonias. I'm going to show you how to take a proper leaf cutting from your begonia and pop that up so in about three weeks time or a little bit longer, you should have new growth on those cuttings and eventually new plants. So you will need a few things to be able to take your leaf cuttings of your begonias. Uh, so you'll need a sharp, clean knife, You'll also need a shallow pot. Here I'm using a pair of plastic um, saucers and the top piece is to help keep the humidity sort of and all of that sort of moisture captured within this little contraption that I've made. You are not gonna want any of this soil to completely dry out. Uh, so you're gonna wanna keep a close eye on this, a daily check, just to make sure that your leaf cuttings are doing just fine. In terms of the soil mix, I did go ahead and use a potting mix with some perlite. And basically what you want to do is take a leaf and a stem that is the right size so it can fit in the um, saucers that, I've, that I'm using, so not, nothing too big. So you can go ahead and cut the leaf as so. Each of these veins are basically potentially the new um, areas of, of growth. Be sure to cover the cutout with soil. These guys are going to want bright, indirect light as well, so it's not a horrible idea to keep them close to the parent plant uh, that already has all of those right conditions. A voila! Just like that, in a few weeks' time, you'll have a few new begonias and hairy stems and all, but most importantly, those beautiful, luscious, iridescent and uh, basically spectacular leaves. Well, I hope you guys found this video to be useful. Miss you already. Until the next one, see you next Saturday.